I'm JD Short, uh, here at the, uh, the Winter NAMM Show uh, 2017, uh, here with Eden Amplification, just going to run through some of the stuff we have here. This is the World Tour Pro 900, WTP 900. This is the flagship model, and what this is, this is a 900 watt, um, two power amp section, um, World Tour Pro, the redesign, uh, recent redesign of the World Tour Pro, sort of incorpor incorporates this two mix, which is a second uh, two preamp stage, which you can feed back into the original one to give you some, some dirt and some breakup. Basically, all of the red buttons on the front here are, uh, come with an optional foot switch, so I can, my mute, the two mix, compressor, and the enhanced circuit can all be foot switchable. Uh, then we move into the compressor, which has variable amount and ratio control, so you can go from a real soft knee to a hard knee compressor. Um, EQ sections, we're going to have bass and treble as uh, fixed frequencies with uh, 15 dB boost cut. Then in the mid sections, we have low mid and high mids with parametric sweeps for frequency sweeps for all of those, and then just a master volume all this. So the coolest thing about the back side of this is that I said, sir, we can sort of run this in bridge stereo mode. But what this allows us to do with these illuminated speak on connectors is this tells me what I can plug in. So the amber is going to tell me I can plug in um, 8 ohm caps. Green's going to tell me I can plug in a 4 ohm cap. Red means don't do it. So it's harder to see, but it's you know, on, like for a back line, stuff like that, it's easy to see like there. I can cycle through. Now this is going to tell me I can put in all 8 ohms, cycle through again, kind of put in two 4 ohms there. So it's kind of a nice little reference there. Then with this, because we have the two power amp sections, we can do a balance between the left and right, so the one and two. Or we also have a crossover control if you wanted to use this as more of a bi amped rig. Um, so you can do you know different cabinet combinations. It just kind of helps there. A lot of techs really dig that. Um, then the D-series cabinets we got. These are, again, our top of the line cabinets. These are the 112s with tweeters. Excellent. These are uh, made in the UK. Uh, changed a lot of the, uh, been redesigned. There's a new handle on these, sort of changed the batting, internal batting, for, uh, mostly for health and safety, but been an extensive A and B processing just to make sure those are all um, set there. And the Terranova is the more lightweight. It's the Class D uh, power section amplifier. So we, these have been recently redesigned. Uh, they were new to the show last year. So the power six, basically, it's, if you're familiar with the uh, WT550, the 500 series uh, heads that were out uh, a while ago, it's, it's basically the preamp sections from those. So the EQ. So with these, we're looking. We just look at um, the compressor doesn't have the amount of ratio controls that you would see on the Wojo Pro, but it does. It is foot switchable on and off, or just push button here. Um, gain, enhance, and then for this one, we get to two band. Uh, sweepable mids, but the, the frequencies have been redesigned so they overlap. So you basically still can get the same control uh, with these two bands over the three. Just sort of trying to make this in a compact, um, compact head without trying to make it the literal smallest thing you can make. So full size knobs, everything, easy access. Back at this, the illuminated speak on. Again, this is always just going to stay four because this this is rated to uh, four ohms. Coolest thing about this amp, I'll say. It comes with rack ears that mount just on the bottom. So just include it, you keep them there, but it's an easily rackable uh, two-space rack head. These are the Terranova series cabinets. So a little more lightweight, not looking at a neodymium speaker or anything, but they're uh, more compact, more lightweight than the D-series. Uh, it's 212, 410s here. And then this speaker is a 110 with a coaxial driver. So you actually have a mid-range driver in this as well as the tweeter and ported. So that's sort of, we have a lot of uh, upright players. I have a couple of those that I really dig, but then what it does is it sort of gives you a fuller sense of um, sense. So there's not a gap between sort of the woofer and the tweeter, it just sort of rounds everything out. So it's been really nice if you play Arco on upright, you kind of smooth into like thumb style without losing anything really around those. So that's, that's basically the, the newest bits. And then we have the, this 112 combo, kind of has a tiny little kickback in it. So you can see this is uh, slanted back ever so slightly. And then there's the 210 Terranova combo, which is basically just the Terranova heads into a, a combo cabinet. So there's nothing different about those at all. And for more information, uh, check out EdenAms.com.